welcome to Processing Parties with April. We're thrilled to have you here, and today we're going to talk about how to process medical or healthcare billing. And if you think that that sounds so boring, processing and looking at billing, I promise you it's going to be fun. And if right now you don't have any specific bills you need to process, that's okay. The same principles can apply. This is going to be so much fun, and I encourage you to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of these videos, and hope you enjoy. Today we're going to talk about medical bill processing because I know that you're often carrying a lot of details in your head as far as receipts and bills and what you're going to do with all the stuff. So I just had an experience the other day where I processed some medical billing issues and I was actually giddy while I was processing it because everything was just folding right into place and it felt amazing. And if you don't feel giddy right now when you're processing, that means that you don't have the optimal system in place. So I'm just gonna walk through the five steps showing exactly what I did and why I feel like there's just a weight off my shoulders. Okay, so first of all, I received an email that said, you have a notification inside my healthcare management system. So because I check my emails a few times a day and I keep them at zero, I was able to put that in my immediate action folder, which means I'm going to get to it between sometime either that day or at least by the end of the week. Immediate action is something that you're not gonna take action on right that second, but it does need your attention before the week closes. Okay, so I couldn't handle it right that moment because I was checking my phone as I did it. So I put it in immediate action and then I went back to it during the next time I was processing emails. So now step number two. When I opened the email, I said, okay, this kind of started feeling like a big project. I'd submitted maybe 12 or 13 medical bills that I was getting repaid for. And that felt like, oh man, that's one more thing I need to do. But we learned how to boil things down to very, very next actions. What's something that you could do in 10 minutes or less? So my next action at that point was to log into the system and just look and see what is it that I need to get rectified, get the right um, billing statements for, what is it? So I logged in and I went through and found there were six bills that needed to be cared for, but it was just two phone calls I needed to make. So that took this big, huge project and made it really simple. Great, two phone calls, not a big deal. So now you need to decide, well, do I make those two phone calls right now? Do I have time to do it? Maybe it's like the two minute rule or, okay, I'm in project mode right now. Or do I add it to something like my next actions list? So a next actions list, this is where I have things like home, computer, errands, um, to discuss and phone calls. I could have added that to my phone call section and done it later when I had time, but yesterday I did have some time. So I went ahead, made those two phone calls and explained exactly what I needed. It was all right there. It was four little things with the billing and the codes and right, all that kind of stuff. But I was able to get those phone calls made. Not a big deal. It was great. Okay, so that was step number three is actually making the phone calls. Okay, so now moving on to number four, once I made those phone calls, it turns out that they both needed to mail me or email me the information later. I couldn't get it immediately. So one person said, I'm gonna put this in the mail. It should be there in a few days. And the next person says, I'm going to, put, I'm going to email it, but you won't get it till the end of next week, which I don't know why, but that was the case. So at that point, those are called open loops. And when you're waiting for someone to email you or mail you and you can't move forward until something's done, you often feel a little stressed. But all I did was go to my calendar and I use my planner for this. I could also use a digital trigger on my digital calendar. And I just made a note for next week with a little question. Did I get that email yet from this company? Or did that come in the mail? And I made these little triggers. That way when I get to that day, because I'm checking my calendar each day and I'm checking these notifications, I'm going to know if I need to follow up or what I need to do, but it's totally off my mind. So at this point, the email's filed, I've made the phone calls, I've created the triggers, and then step number five is I put all of that information into Evernote. Now you don't have to use Evernote, you could use OneNote, you could use Google Drive, you could use the notes on your phone, whatever you wanna use. But I have one note set up for this specific medical insurance billing issue. And I have all of the information, all the data, all the things that I need. Now, what you also may want to do is have kind of parallel files for what you have digitally and what you have in paper. So behind me, you see my cubbies. These are my support cubbies. I have 
This top one is my personal cubby, things that are more for me. And I have a folder for this specific medical issue because you can see there's been stuff going on and I have all the, the fun things, paper copies. Now I've taken photos or scans. Most of this is also inside of Evernote. But what I did yesterday when I was on the phone is I just was taking notes, writing down, here's the bill, here's the number, here's who I need to follow up, here's what time I called them, here's who I spoke with, all that information. So what happens is if I need to follow up and someone says, well, who'd you talk to? And what was the detail behind it? I can say, well, I talked to this person at 4.42 on this date and they told me they would send me it on this date and here's the account number and here's the amount and here's what I needed. And I give them all that information and sometimes I say things like, I could even send you a picture of what you know I wrote down. And anyway, it becomes so fun because when you have your system organized, then because a lot of times people in the world maybe don't have great systems, you can help support them and give them that information that they need and be able to get things resolved so that you can pay your bills, get things taken care of and not have that weight. So if you want to feel giddy while you're doing all of this processing, whether it's for medical bills or whether it's building a business or it's supporting your family or it's redesigning a bathroom, I don't know, whatever it is you're doing, having this command central is going to make a big difference. Hopefully you're feeling as excited about processing as I am, and we would love to have you connect with us at learndobecome.com. We have a free community Facebook group at learndobecome.com forward slash FB family, or if you just go to learndobecome.com forward slash connect, you can find all the ways you can interact with us, follow us on social media, and we have a free introductory class to learn more about the command central called how to finally stop drowning in piles. You can find that on the connect page as well. Plus any new things we add, we just put it right on there. Okay, enjoy.